and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some mono red cannons. This is our next deck in our Throwback Thursday stream. Throwback Thursdays are where we take rares and mythics that are going to be rotating out of standard here when Throne of Eldraine releases that haven't seen very much play at all in standard and build new decks around them. So we get to play them before they rotate out. We've had a lot of other fun ones. Make sure you check out the playlist with all the other Throwback Thursday decks as well. Uh, earlier decks that we played earlier today, we played a uh, Fraying Omnipotence deck, a Precognition Field deck, and now a Vance's Blasting Cannons deck. So Vance's Blasting Cannon, three in a red enchantment, beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. If it's a non-land card, you may cast that card this turn. So unlike like Chandra Plus and, and other effects like this, if it's a land, you don't get to play the land. So it has to be a spell um, for you to be able to cast it. And then whenever you cast the third spell in a turn, then you may transform Vance's Blasting Cannons. And Spitfire Bastion's a heck of a land. We have, you know, it's just a mana producing land. They can also do two and a red to tap to do three damage to any target. So you just get like unlimited lightning bolts. So this is a pretty sweet card. So if we're looking at it, one, you know, we're not rewarded for exiling land. So we want to be a lower land count deck. You see here we got the 22 mountains. Um, but then also uh, we want to be able to cast a lot of spells in a turn. So in order to help help us cast a lot of spells in a turn, I want cards that cycle. So that's why we're playing four Crash Through, four Warlord's Fury. Um, you know, so we have eight cyclers in here to help us be able to, to play three spells in a turn after we have the blasting cannons out there. As far as creatures that that go well with cycle with uh, cycling cards here, we have four burning prophets um, that can, you know, each time we cast that non-creature spell, it gets plus one plus zero and also scries. So we can scry away extra lands or or scry towards lands, you know, like that kind of thing. So it can get pumped and then scry for us. And then of course runaway steamkin that the more spells you cast, the more uh, counter as it gets on it, and then you can remove three, add three mana, and continue. Uh, we also have like the Chandras, which can, you know, minus two and recast cyclers if we need be for those. Um, and but then can also just pressure with like you know being able to make the two elemental tokens. But I like Chandras here as like more spells if we need it. And then we have uh, of course just our other good red cards, Chain Whirler. Fire Artisan also helps us find spells as well. So it's a pretty cool little like mono red mid-range aggro kind of deck. A little different from just regular mono red aggro. So let's let's give this a try. Um, we got War Bosses and Cyborg for control. Blood Suns, of course, against Field of the Dead. And then we have some removal for aggro decks. Let's try out some mono red cannons. This will be a fun league. So kind of the exact opposite of our previous deck. Our blue-black control deck was the slowest of slow control decks. And now we have a pretty aggressive deck here with lots of burn spells. So good change of pace there. Let's see how it does. Our last deck for the night that we're going to be playing was a donation deck, so it's not it's not a Throwback Thursday deck. We're going to have some Rakdos Midrange. Alright, one land, no cycle cards. Let's ship it. All right, here we go. Whoops. All right, looking like elementals. Kind of waited on the the Warlord's Fury there. 
Um, for the Burning Prophet, you know, pumps the Burning Prophet, we get the Scry, all that kind of stuff. Hmm. Yeah, Fury's good. Just gonna slow him down. No mana creatures allowed. Every story is an opportunity to the library. And Burning Prophet does trigger on any non-creature spell, so like playing Chandra Acolyte of Flame does trigger the Burning Prophet as well. Wow. That's not good for me. Yeah, and this is going to be really tough next turn. Do you want that land? You know what's better than having a plan? Basically, anything. Hey, these little guys are great. These planeswalkers just have so much loyalty too. I guess you do not want to talk. Witness the ties that bind us all. The land fights for us. <clears throat> Keep it up and you'll pay. I think you will find my notes helpful. Not looking good. Oh, come on, two for two. Love to find a lightning strike to kill this island. No. Or just six straight mountains. Or that. I guess it was five straight mountains. Mm -mm. Go get him, buddies. Do not underestimate my fortitude. My elemental friend. Eh, I'm late to meditation anyway. And this is just a really hard card to beat. It just makes creatures over and over and over again. Um, yeah, I, I don't have like you know with just playing red cards, I don't have like a removal spell that kills Nissa in my deck. How it just ticks up to six. Like same with Tamiya. Like they both tick up to six loyalty. I don't have anything that does six damage. Just don't. I think I'm gonna to need to try to be aggressive here with war bosses. I think that's my my shot here. Yeah, I need to get more pressure. Not sure what I want to cut. I mean, we have to cut some threes and fours. It's going to be the Chandra's. I'm just, I'm not sure what, um, which order. All right, so that's two and two. Maybe just have two and one. Yeah, I'll just go two and one of the Chandra's. I don't think I want Fry. I played two of that Chandra, one of this one. 
Yeah. All right, see how this goes. Ugh. All right, better. I get rid of a land. We definitely have to draw a land, the first two cards. Keeping shock means we have shock for land war elf and then can go steamkin war boss. Um, strikes better against everything else except for if they have land war elf. Then this is worse. I just I don't want to the. It's just so risky, like, obviously we we don't really want to draw land at all, but it's just so risky if I get rid of a land and then we don't draw lands and then we just, and we can't play War Boss on three. I think just playing War Boss on three is, is so important, especially with how this hand is either way. So our first card wasn't land, like if this card's not land, we'll be rewarded for keeping it. We just have to play War Boss on three. And yeah, they could have a shock that kills War Boss, but. Alright, so not rewarded for keeping the land. Definitely not rewarded for keeping the land. Could have a lightning strike in hand right now and would have just shocked the land or elf and have a lightning strike in hand still. But we're still looking good. So, still looking good. No, Blood Sun does not stop Nyssa from turning lands into 3 threes. No, Blood Sun doesn't do anything. All right, on the draw, do we need coils on the draw here? No, we're, we're just going to go with this. Yeah, it would, it would remove... That's true. It would do something. It would remove the Vigilance from the lands. Like, the lands wouldn't have Vigilance. So it's it's not like it would do nothing. It, it would remove Vigilance. Oh, yeah, and Haste. Yeah, and Haste. Yeah. Yeah, so Vigilance and Haste. Yeah. Yeah, y'all right. If they just pass here, I'm not going to play War Boss because I'm worried about Flame Sweep. Okay. Don't need to be worried about Flame Sweep. But I should probably still just Chain Whirler and get rid of this Risen Reef with Chain Whirler. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to be War Boss in. I think it's still just have Flame Sweep by War Boss, though. No. Uh. They make these green cards so big. 
so big. So I know I could attack with Chain Whirler and have like the Lightning Strike threaten to kill the Cavalier of Thorns, but I just want to set up. I want to set up like all three War Bosses next turn and just and just go. I'm not even, not playing around the Flame Sweep, of course, which could be my downfall, but it's difficult to do though. beating. So if they block war boss, war boss, they take two, four, five, six, nine. They take nine, go down to seven. Could also just send those and wait a turn. Doesn't really get better for me waiting, does it? So if they go down to seven, then I have um, one, two, three, four, five, six creatures. And then they're at four. All right, so if I strike Cavalier Thorns, they can get back Krasis. Or Nyssa. Krasis is just gain three life. Um, which if they gain three, they go down to, they're, they'll be at 11. They'll have two blockers. We'll be able to go like block, block. And then take two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, if they get Krasis, they die. Uh, Nissa, who knows? I think since since they get Krasis, they die. I'm willing to do this. Keep Chain Whirler alive. I'm not sure if my opponent. Did that math? If they just cast a big crisis here, they're dead just on board. Hopefully they do that. Yay. They could draw a red red source shock to stay alive. It's a red source, not a shock. GG's. Now they're counting it up. Probably should have done that before you just took the crisis. I could double check because they. All right, so Chain Roller and War Boss gets blocked. So that means two get through. Plus these are both twos also because the the mentor. So two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Man, we flooded out there. The seven lands. But War Boss has got us there. Good job, War Boss. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it should be mono red war boss. No, cannons will come out the next the next game. We didn't need the cannons. We didn't need the firepower of that game. Get them for the next game. All right. Cannon time. No, Chandra. I was like, ooh, did they miss? That's... You know what, Pork? I didn't. I never thought about that, but I'm also now sad that Ixalan did not have a legendary pirate ship. I'm pretty sad about that now too. Yeah, it could make pirates. Like, there's pirates coming out from the pirate ship. Is this the deck that we're just playing next? Is this the donation deck that... No, it's not a Rotting Registrar deck. Okay. I know it had Cranko in it. That's not how that works. Oh my gosh, deck. It's like almost half of our mountains. We have 22. How are we drawing eight of them? Kill me, deck. The Conqueror's Galleon Fell Flagship. I guess I guess Fell Flagship, that's the pirate ship. That's kind of a weak pirate ship, but I guess that's it. It's not a legendary pirate ship. So Acolyte of Flame isn't necessarily real great. In uh, aggro mirrors, I want to play a couple coils instead of a couple acolyte flames. Yeah, just try just t changing out two for two coil for two coils, and that's it. I mean, we're not really mulliganing here. <sighs> yeah. 
Yuck. I just want any spell. Just give me a spell. That's why I was considering not casting Crash Through there, honestly. Because if we would have crashed through it and then drawn a, a good spell, they would duress. Alright, we're getting spells at least. We're starting to get spells. There we go. The cannons. Cannon is online. Time to blast. All right, what are we blasting? Chandra. <laughs> I knew you needed my help. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. All right, cannons starting to get it done. Vance already has Chandra aboard. Feel my pain. Take that, Liliana. One. All right, let's go, Cannon. Ah, oh, dang, it was a land. Don't get to play lands with it. All right, so I could go double shock right now and just flip cannons. But I think we can wait. They're playing, you know, Rakdos, and they got nothing going on. We don't, like, really need to flip cannons right now. We can just get keep getting the card advantage from it. But, yeah, we got rid of three lands that turn, so that's good. So we're getting 8 out of 17 cards lands, but but with us seeing 3 cards a turn, like we're going to take over. That's got to be light up the stage, right? Ah, that's fine. Ooh, not light up the stage. Good, good. We lose one loyalty. You want to play with fire, huh? Sit back and watch it burn. All right, let's flip the cannons. Okay. Got me there. Man, we're going to have a lot of mana with blasting cannons. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, we just four mana is just going to be a lightning bolt every turn, which means we only got four other mana. This is just going to be bad for you. All right, so this is awesome. So Spitfire Bastion, tap three and tap it. Deal three damage to any target. So yeah, we get to kill creatures and everything. Any target. Taking three. I 
That's a clock right there. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Yeah, like they were they were trying to go controlled deck route, but can't control the cannons. Boom. Shots have been fired. Then we cannons them, untap cannons. Yeah, nobody can possibly stand up to the mighty advances of blasting cannons. What a card. Um, yeah, we'll just keep it like this. Here we go. Oh, your LGS closed down. I'm sorry to hear that iced. Don't think we need War Boss. We just need four lands and a cannons. That's really all we need. Besides that, we need no duress from the opponent. Pass. Don't don't go turn one duress again. No, my cannons. Oh, they took that card so fast. All right, so I'm waiting till turn three. You know, like they're just gonna use all their removal that they have. Oh, oh well. Um, I was waiting until turn three so I could play. I could just play the Burning Prophet and then play Warlord's Fury immediately and uh, scry before drawing. That's probably unnecessary, but I thought they had Jaya's, Gre Jaya's Greeting available. We'll see if they play it here by end step. Kind of surprised they didn't kill Chain Whirler. Yeah, there's the Jai's greeting. I think they would have had that if I would have just played the Prophet on two. Nice numbers. Hope you have fun then. Which which weekend's Labor Day weekend? Is that the first weekend in September? I don't know. I could could have sound really dumb there. It's this weekend? When people start screaming, oh. I know I'm on track. This is just gonna be bad for you. Gotcha. That's tomorrow. I was thinking it was in one more weekend. Well, as you, you can tell, I'm going to be doing our sub battle stream this weekend and likely 12 hour stream there on Saturday. Bunch of new burn spells to try on you. Study, focus. I just want to burn stuff already. We're gonna tick up this Chandra, get it to ult range. Find your fires of passion within. I guess I could have just minus two the Chandra to. No, problem. no, I wanted the cannons. Can't end. That's all I was searching for. Well, we had that one game where we got to flip cannons. What are we, 2-0 already? 
Checks a little bit faster than the last one. <laughs> Went a little, a little faster than the last deck. Let's try it out. We've done a really good job drawing lands. We're on the draw. And we have a cycler. Hmm. I haven't gotten there yet. Had it the whole time. Yeah, here, Risen Reef. Hey, Toxic Flames, that year and a half. Resub there. Welcome back. Sub number three on the day. We're getting there. Double Thought Erasure. Taking all my non-shock cards. Let's do as much damage as we can. Pump these both up to four. Spell in hand? Yeah. There you go. No lands. Ugh. That's going to hit a land. We draw a two, two mana removal spell here. Darn. I was going to say we win if we draw a two-mana removal spell. Um, they still just block, go to four. I think that's better than just letting them double block or double chump block. Yuck. All right, figured it out. Lethal. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? <laughs> it's awesome. That's first strike. Give my creatures first strike. <laughs> Remember this one? They can block one. But first strike happens first, they take four. GG. No lifelink. All right, so we probably want all these blood suns. And if we're playing all these blood suns, what are we gonna be doing? Yeah, that was a, that was a pretty cool little play there. No, I'm not taking out crash throughs. Um, thinking about taking out 
think we're gonna like probably trim some of our planeswalkers and like maybe take out like a burning prophet, a Chandra. Um, maybe another one of these Chandras and then one of those Chandras. I mean, I guess this isn't as good if you're playing Blood Sun, I guess. I guess I could cut cannons. I don't like cutting cannons, though. Cannons are cool. Fry does kill your rock. Which is still a problematic card. All right, we're still playing one cannons. Okay, here we go. Yeah, cannons is kind of the whole point of the deck. It's the name of the deck. No blood sun. It's kind of weird mulliganing this hand though. If they were not like a thought erasure deck, I would mulligan, but against the thought erasure deck, we kind of want to just top deck the blood sun anyway. Be nice to have a, a blood sun before a blast zone kills my stuff. So I don't really want to play the other chain whirler and make blast zone even better. Well, now they know about the other chain whirler. Come on, deck. Nah, it's it's a different it's a different Rakdos mid range deck. This is a, a donation deck that a viewer sent in with a bunch of a land. We have the flood emote. Yeah, we're this is our we're flooding. Um, yeah, it was a a list that a viewer sent in. So at least if our opponent does put the extra counter on the blast zone and then blow it up, then they're a little farther away from playing your rock. Yeah, this is the third game that we've just had like eight lands right away. Don't really have haste creatures, so not a reason to... Play that first. Unbelievable. Spell. Blood Sun. Some other spell. Chandra. No, not the other Chandra. 
Not right there. Because now if they trophy this Chandra, we that's two Chandras gone. Yuck. This was a waste of my time. That was the worst card to tick up and find. That was just the the actual worst card. Alright, I've gone through a third of the deck. It's going to be hard to to get there from here. Darn. I would not have mind them just drawing any of those cards. So much loyalty. So of course they can they can grab trophy. If they want. The past is never forgotten. So we're at twelve twelve lands out of the deck now. Last game. Okay. So I want these in. These in. We need to be able to play a longer game than what we are able to here with what we got so far. Taking Steamkin out. Yeah, the, the problem with War Boss is all the disfigures that we saw. And if they get to like the point where they're making two twos, War Boss isn't gonna do a whole lot there either. All right, cutting a land. We're gonna have a longer game. It's less <clears throat> necessary that we have like a bunch of lands, especially with trophy being one of their main removal spells. We just have to hit, you know, like three lands basically. To get to Blood Sun.
Yeah, basically just wearing my... Oh, yeah. Watch. I was just wearing it upside down because uh, it just fits... On, it, it actually fits on, like, the wrist better instead of... It's, it's like, real, like, loose when it's like this and heavy and, and shakes a lot and everything. But if I just turn it upside down, then it can... Then it just doesn't doesn't move and it fits a lot better. So yeah, that was really just a fit thing. Blair. So just getting the blood sun in right away so like they don't they don't get to scry anything with all their lands. Like yeah, that was like a scry land. Don't want them doing any of their scry stuff. I'm glad we caught a land. So we are. We already have enough lands again. Yeah, we're already doing just fine on lands. I know I noted this somewhere. These numbers are just so big. Six toughness for Cavalier, six loyalty for Tamio. Why so big? Why do they have to hit with Tamio? Is impolite. You're impolite. I'm the best fire starter there is. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. I have learned little here. Maybe we should have played the Prophet first. Just get that Scry in. Um, yeah, that's fine, I guess. I've learned a bunch of new burn spells to try on you. We can do this together. So if I block, it's a good chance we're ultimating the Chandra. They're making this attack. Let's see. Do I want Chandra to stick around? Do I want a zero? Yeah. Do this together. The only way this is going to be a problem with minusing is if uh, kind of what happened happened if we just didn't have five actual if we didn't find five points of burn. Um, we'll start with this. I guess I should I should be playing Burning Prophet first. We have enough mana. Six. 
I was kind of planning on playing... Like, if I play Burning Prophet first, though, we may not be able to play Blood Sun, maybe. Yeah, Scry. Uh, Chain Whirler, you're good, but you don't kill your rock. Yeah, so we're just not going to kill your rock. I could crash through. So we're one mana short from being able to keep the Blood Sun. So only only get to have two Blood Suns out. Don't don't get to have a third. All right. GGS. There we go. Fought through some big stuff. <sighs> Having multiple Blood Suns was definitely key because they had the Assassin's Trophy for one Blood Sun. Like they were, they were a little green. I mean, like you know, they did tick up and find your rock, but they might have wanted to minus their Tamio to grab trophy to be able to re-trophy. They would have done that, then they would not have ticked up and milled over the other trophy also. But that's obviously something you can't really count on. Uh, we'll just get rid of this thing. Yeah, roll reversal. That's something I... Yeah. You make good roll reversal. Ooh. Good brother, I think in the Kai Car deck, we're talking about making a Kai Car deck. Maybe we should put some roll reversals in there, where we can like give our opponent a spirit creature and take another creature. Pour one out for the the green creatures. Can't handle those chains whirling around. First strike, good. Behold, nature's true power. All right. Our opponent probably thinks we're just regular mono red. Because we just played Steamkin, Chain Whirler, Chandra. Didn't get to show all the other cool stuff in our deck. Um, Nissa again, is still going to be really difficult to deal with. So what, they're Bant? I guess if they're banned, maybe I should be playing Fry. They could have like Lyra Dawnbringer, Shalai, stuff like that. Hey, Steam Flogger, GG's.
Yes, yeah, so we could. The last time we played against the Nissa deck, we went with war bosses to try to put pressure on them. We could do that again. We didn't go with fries though. Maybe we do that over profit. You can't just have like all three mana cards though. All right, let's try this. Let's try going war boss again. All right, not the best looking hand, but we got the cannons. So I'm all about that. Yeah, that's I agree. Chamberlain should said for every creature it deals damage to, you draw a card. I agree. <laughs> Why not? Now there's definitely been times like in the past couple formats where bands been pretty good. And like Bant Scapeshift is like the best deck in the format. So I guess if you're talking like the last really good Bant deck, I mean, well, Bant, Bant Scapeshift is all over the place. Yeah, and yeah, definitely Bant, Bant Coco is after Thrag Tusk. But even just like last format before the Scapeshift stuff. That third toughness is annoying, but oh well. Hmm. Chandra or cannons? The problem with cannons is how it gets bounced by Teferi. But Chandra doesn't cast anything that it would exile right now. We'll get the cannons in play. Because it's possible... Oh, I guess we can't do Chandra Shock Shock, but... We just find a three drop or less with blasting cannons. We could play that, then shock shock. It's not it's not possible to play Chandra and flip cannons. Yeah, get rid of those extra lands anyway. I didn't want those lands anyway. Please no Nissa. I'm assuming they don't have a Nissa. Like, I feel like they would have just played the Krasis, or they would have played the Nissa first before Krasis. Yuck. So many of these things, they're everywhere. What else we got? It's just gonna be bad for you. Um. So six mana.
So I could have shocked them and dealt two damage to them. So we're dealing one less damage, but then we also get the 1-1 one, one in play. Deck. Ugh. Can't find any removal. You know, any removal spell could have paired up with a Spitfire Bastion to, to kill the Krasis. I was going to say, are they not worried about this Chandra ultimate over here? Yeah, so that, that first strike was really relevant there with that attack that we had that last turn. Oh, nice. No, I never really liked the Midnight pre-release. All right, that's it. Can't deal with the Bastion. Because, yeah, like, they, they attack Chandra, they take five... I get to bash in them for three more to put them down to five. And so then just like one burn spell kills them. But yeah, they couldn't handle it. That was a pretty sweet game there. This deck is pretty cool. This is a good mono red deck here. All right, let's go to our final boss playlist. We are 4-0. Here we go. Where's our final boss playlist? Yeah, no, no, probably not Italian Stallion. I, I, I sold my Magic Online collection, um, so yeah, I'm not, not really planning on getting back into it. We're about to have Historic now, so we got Standard and Historic. So yeah, no, no Modern for me. Ooh, yeah, Obsidot. Yeah, those are those are definitely fun cards. Obsidots are good cards. I wouldn't mind another Obsidot. But, I mean, I guess Obsidot was killed, right? Kaya, like, that's why she's called Kaya the Ghost Assassin. She killed the council. No, I don't play paper anymore. Still have my collection, so... Still can. Um, but don't have... Too much desire to go... To events. And everything. Um, or take, day, take days off streaming. You know, like, this is all I do for income, so every any day I take off certainly hurts. Alright, so we got the mono red mirror. Can I block? Block? There we go. For our final boss here. Okay. 
No, Zedalom. Nope. Get another war boss out there. No. Ugh. It's a good lighting strike. I mean, do I just chain whirler again? Do I go Burning Prophet, Crash Through? Yeah, I guess I just Chain Whirler again. Okay, it's a delay. It's a Cavalcade delay trigger. Alright, maybe I shouldn't have played the Chain Whirler there. There we go. Now we doing stuff. Alright, Trample. Bottom. That was like the perfect card. I guess I should just double shock. This is lethal. I mean, it's lethal in a lot of ways, but. This works. Because I could have just let them block. Like, when creatures have trample, I could just let them block and not even worry about like the two shocks because does like they don't have any blocks that save them even if they block across the board the shocks still just go upstairs and kill them so i, I could have just like let them block and just see how they would have blocked but all right let's get some sweepers in here flame sweepers we had a really good hand there with triple chain whirler i'm not super confident in the next couple of games though do I want to cut? Do I just want to cut Acolyte of Flame? I mean, Acolyte of Flame can attack their Acolyte of Flame. Because I kind of want to bring in the coils. Maybe I cut Steamkin. But I'm thinking like they'll just like attack my Acolyte of Flame and we can't keep it stay we can't have it stay around. So I'm thinking this. Let's take out one steamkin for a coil. No, we'll keep the steamkin. Yeah, Mono Red Cannons has been the best de deck of the day for sure. Now cycle one of them. Has felt that 21 lands would, would have been enough, though. 
also. And yeah, I could wait and, you know, wait a turn, next turn go like Burning Prophet plus crash through. Wish that was a lava coil. Um, yeah. Yeah, if, if you don't have cannons, it's probably best just to play like regular mono red, honestly. I think we're likely dead here. Playing the Chandra because it'll help us dig towards removal better. <laughs> no, that was the removal spell. That's all right. The second one, precognition field. We're likely dead here. All right, so definitely regret not having the coil in if they're on like the Spitfire heavy hand. That card's ridiculous. All right, get the coil in. Take a steam can out. Here we go. Game three. I probably should put the, the cannons back, but come on. <laughs> Look at the deck we're playing. I'm, I'm not putting cannons back. You know, that, that should really be the card I, I put back, most likely. But we're going to draw lands. That's all I've been doing all league. Please, no more Spitfires. Yeah, saving Chain Whirler to be a removal spell. Didn't get to play cannons there. Oh, come on. A third one? God, to be kidding me. Because I don't think they had one, you know, previously when they played the, you know, Shock Calamity. So I think their last two draws were both Spitfires. This is down to eight. Unreal. It all lands for us. Looks like we're picking up a loss. Attacking is just lethal, right? Yeah, attacking is just lethal. Blech.
Told y'all we'd draw some lands. That's all we've been drawing our lands. I was worried about like playing 21 lands of like really wanting to hit the fourth land drop all the time to be able to get to cannons and then like you do want you do want like a good amount of lands to be able to play a lot of spells in a turn to be able to flip uh, blasting cannons and then also just activating cannons because cannons takes three mana to activate so you still want to be able to play like other spells while also activating cannons so I was worried about 21 lands but I don't know, 22 we just always like so there's there's a lot of reasons in the deck to play uh, like to hit land drops Okay, so yeah, we had an extra life, so we still have still have a shot here to defeat the final boss. It's mono red again. I'll wait on the fury till after Steamkin. Not mono red. <clears throat> yeah, the the three Spitfire draw like, that was really really rough. But oh well. Okay. Good hand. Let's just fight. Ravnica deserves its demise. Team Rollo is going to clean up pretty well, though. So, I'll just see myself out then. Haven't really been rewarded for keeping this Warlord's Fury in hand. Quite annoying. My wild beasts will bring your comeuppance. So yeah, like the spellbreaker having um, hexproof during their turn means we don't even get to like block with like first strike chain whirler and strike it. Either. Certainly one to have the two chain whirlers around. I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. Gotta draw another removal spell to team up here and take out the Hellkite. So 
So that was my bad. Let's see. Let's see what our next card would have been. I should have put an upkeep stop and cast this during upkeep. We would have scryed the mountain to the bottom, and at least we would have drawn that crash through. Which then... We don't know what that crash through could have gotten us. That was a pretty awesome hand for our opponent. Like, exactly five lands and uh, just a really good play every single turn. Not expecting them to have exactly that again. Um... That being said, we definitely want coils, and I think I don't want Acolyte of Flame. Again, just in the aggressive matchups where Acolyte of Flame can get pressured, I'm not as big a fan of it. So I think that's gonna be our it's gonna be our trade. Alright, down a game here let's see if we can uh, put this pull this together get out a win here Currently waiting. All right, game number two. This has been a fun deck to play, though. This has been a fun league. We've had some really good close games. A lot of really good close games. Got to do some cool stuff with Vance's Blasting Cannons also. Just like striking this thing before they get to adapt with it. We're saving coil for potential for toughness. Um, play this, play this, scry. Yes, please, give me that cannons. All about the cannons. Here we go. Help us out, Vance. Go blast some stuff. All right, we know we can't get a land off of Vance's blasting cannon, so we can scry that to the bottom. That's another good thing that Pro Burning Prophet works with. Helps you set up your first Vance's blasting cannons exile a little bit there. So good turn. I don't want them to play 5 5 Hellkite. I don't mind like Rekindling Phoenix. You know, stuff that we get to coil. But. 5 5 Hellkite. Be rough. You must be mad to tussle with me. Alright, pretty desperate for removal there. <laughs> That's the sound of a stampede coming straight at ya. Ugh. 
That was the wrong place for the Chain Whirler. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. Wow. That's rough. I am out of here. Oh, looks Guess like you don't need me anymore. And no hands. All right, we'll be able to flip cannons here. has been flipped. Mm. Probably want more like removal. That'll work. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I know you, yeah. Yeah, no, Matthew, I know you've loved uh, Burning Prophet, and yeah, I've, I've been really liking the Burning Prophet. Burning Prophet has been solid. Pretty satisfied over here. Blasting cannons away. And Spitfire Bastion is sweet. Could do this all day. Could do this all day. This is what Throwback Thursday is all about. Getting to do stuff you normally wouldn't be able to do. Or just, you know, like I wouldn't have, make, wouldn't have made a Vance's Blasting Cannons deck if it wasn't for Throwback Thursday. And look at this here, having, having some good fun with it. All right, you get my Chain Whirler. It's not a good idea to play the light, to have Lightning Strike kill Daredevil. Because we may need Lightning Strike to pair up with Blasting Cannons to kill something bigger. We can just have, or the Spitfire Bastion. What? I will Hmm. Speaking of killing something bigger. Do not assume I am fragile. My strength fades. Harness the elements. Yeah, we could we could have just killed the lands. But I don't know, giving them double mana probably not great either. It's just like a, a slow process of trying to kill all the lands and then while the Daredevil's killing us. Be a good time to draw another chain whirler. Eh. We'll save that. Alright, looks like we're probably gonna have to play that this next turn. They're just not drawing any lands over there. It's just all spells. Just like last game. Last game they had five lands and then just nothing but spells. That's how it's been this game here too. Just so much gas. I, they gotta be playing more lands than I'm playing, right? 
just like overall. Like I have 22. They got to be playing more than 22 lands with all with like their curve and everything. Play some lands. Seriously? I think we're gonna lose this. Hey! Over here! Sit back and watch it burn. They have another, they have like a burn spell in hand. They really just can't just, man, they drew just so well. You remember, like they were empty handed and they didn't draw anything but spells the whole time after being empty handed. It's just like Daredevil, Daredevil, Nissa, War Boss, Hydra, Banefire. They're like they're empty handed and that's those are their draws. Just no bricks ever. Crazy. We drew like four lands in there. So four and two. Well, Vance's Blasting Cannons, the card was completely awesome. Um, so I've, all right, so I'll talk about it again, but um, if you missed it earlier, but I, so yeah, it did play out like 22 being too many lands, but there's a lot of reasons with playing Vance's Blasting Cannons that you want to keep hitting your land drops. You don't want to be stuck on two mana. Or even stuck on three mana with this deck, you like it's it's actually good to have four, five, six mana, but it's just not good to have seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Um, you know, like that's not really that necessary. But you want to hit land drops with this deck because all right. So one, we want to get to four mana to be able to play our cannons and our Chandra, right? So like that's like we want to get to four to be able to play these really impactful cards. All right. After that, uh, we do need to play three spells in a turn to flip blasting cannon so that you're looking at like five six mana to be able to have your three lands three mana in a turn and then once you flip cannons you do want to be able to activate spitfire bastion which takes three of your lands and still play other stuff and still do other things so again you know that that's like wanting like six or seven lands because you still want to be able to like activate your cannons and do other stuff so it's a little different than like a regular mono red deck um like where a regular mono red deck that's like lower to the ground that when you play all these cyclers you'd want to play less lands because you really like the the sweet spot with this deck is probably like six or seven lands like really like six is pretty good like where six can like activate spitfire bastion and and still cast other things um so 22 so i really didn't think 22 lands would be too many whenever you think of it that way they like hit like actually hitting six land drops is really not bad but there is like between the the scrying with profit uh but usually you're scrying lands to the bottom. But yeah, of course, we have like the cyclers here. Um, Chandra and Bastion get you extra cards. It How it played out, it did play out like we had too many lands. Um, but the problem with going down like less lands is that you really do um, run the risk of not hitting those first like four land drops that are like pretty crucial um, to the deck. Um. I don't really like Banefire as a card. Like, sh sure, like whenever, whenever, like we're in like the really late game and we've drawn eight lands and then we top deck a Banefire, yeah, like when you get to that scenario, yeah, Banefire would be awesome. But having a Banefire in your opening hand is just always like a dead card because it, like, you can't play it until like 
you know, like turn four, turn five, turn six, like, and like at that point, it like, it's always, it's always trading down on mana. Like if you spend four mana on it to do three damage, you're, you're trading down. You're not, you're not like killing anything big. It's just not a card that I want to be playing. Um, yeah, light, I, I considered playing light of the stage. That was, that was a card that I cut later because we don't always turn on the, uh, like deal damage to your opponent part of light of the stage with this. You saw with those games, like that's that's not something that happens all the time, and so ended up cutting that. Honestly, I was I was pretty happy with the deck. Honestly, I think I would rather get to those points like where late in the game where we have too many land draw land draws like we have there, than play the games like where we're just sitting on two lands and we can't cast our spells. I think that's a lot more frustrating, and that's a lot more likely the more lands we cut. However, one. Cutting one sing like so I would not cut more than one, but maybe one singular land could be cut. Um, and then at that point, you know, play whatever spell you want, kind of thing. Um, no, but Vance like takes takes over when it's in your opening hand and you play it on turn four. Banefire, when you play it on turn four, just trades down on mana and kills like a one or one or two mana creature. Yeah, we went. Yeah, we were really close to going five and zero. Um, you know, our opponent drawing back to back Chandra Spitfires to kill us that uh, in that other game, and then how our opponent just drew ridiculously well, like never drew lands. It was just you know five or six or seven, whatever that was, spells in a row um, with us just drawing drawing some lands and stuff. There didn't work out, but real fun deck. All right, uh, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this deck as well. This was a fun one. And if so, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there on YouTube. I'd appreciate that, of course. And then also, again, leave a comment. Let me know what rare or mythic have you been wanting to see that you want me to build for the next Throwback Thursday deck. But like always, these Throwback Thursday decks are some of my favorites to play. Recommend checking out the playlist with all of them and going through them because we've played a lot of really neat decks over the last few Thursdays. Um, but that's it here for Mono Red Cannons. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.